continue with data val validation and we're almost done with that part okay so where we are at right now is we can write to our database using the uh, database class and here we can validate our data using the signup.php class here however the thing is we have we are echoing our result here directly which is uh, not a very good thing to do so what we want to do instead is to create a proper formula because we want the page that we are returning the data to to be able to do something useful with that data so we have to give it a little bit more information so to do that we have to send a uh, some JSON data so that it can create an object there and decide what to do so for example here where we have error uh, your profile was created so what we might do is come to the top here And let's create a variable let's call it um, uh, info for example let's say info is equal to so we're going to create this as an empty object like so uh, there we go all right so when we come here oh, what we can do is Actually, you can't do this in PHP. You can only create an array like this. So what we will do is we'll be clever. We're going to say object like so. Uh -huh. Since creating an array is like this, so if we put object there, it should change this into an actual object. Okay, pretty good. So let's come down here where there is error. Okay and we're supposed to echo the error here now instead of echoing the error here what we will do is we are going to say info let's say message let's call it message or we can call it info still info info i don't know if that would be confusing okay let's use message is equal to uh let's put error there okay and then we're going to have something else called uh, type as you have seen before data type is important so we're going to call this one because it's an error we're going to call it uh, error something like this so that it knows that uh, we are receiving an error if it's just normal info we're going to call it info so here uh, we'll remove this and let me move this echo down here and it's going to be info instead of error and what we will do is say json encode because we want to send it over the internet so we're going to encode it like this oops so we are converting this um, object into a string and that's what will echo that string okay pretty good same thing here when we are echoing this your profile was created so we're going to do exactly the same thing come back here let's do this and we're going to get this message and put it here that will be the message okay there we go so we get the message and it's not an error it's info so there we go but here this is an error so we're going to do the same thing oops and we're going to change the message to this one so we're going to say not, not created due to an error something like so and this one is not info it's error all right like this uh, it's going to be more organized so that on the other side we know what to do with what we receive 
uh, as a result. And actually, if the creation of the profile was successful, we have to redirect the user to the home page. So that's what we can do over there. All right, so everything seems fine. Okay, so let's test this and see what we get. All right, so let's come back here and let me click on there. And so you see now we are receiving an object instead of just uh, an error. It's just saying, please that, please that, and the data type is error. So we can do something interesting with this now. So let's come back here and go to signup.php. So where are we getting the response? It's right here. So let's create a function down here that will be handling our responses. So I'm going to say function. This is in the JavaScript, by the way, signup.php. Handle result. And then we're going to say result. Oops, the reflex to add a dollar sign because of PHP. Okay, so there we go. So handle request. So we are handling the request here. Oh, here I was using this convention. So there we go. All right, so what we will do is check, convert the result first of all to a JSON object. So I'm going to say again with that. I'm going to say var data is equal to json dot parse to parse results there we go so once we get the result now we're going to check if to see if data dot because here we're using the dot notation to access our object dot info because if you remember, we used, where is that memory location? It's data type, actually. There we go. So if the data type is equal to info, we do something else. Else, it's an error, of course. Then we're going to show something else. So if it's info, we know that everything went well. So what we're going to do is redirect our page to the uh, index.php. Is that the page we have here? Let me come back here. Our home page is the index.php. So we're going to redirect our user to that. So to do that, we're going to say window.location. And then we're going to go to the index.php that simple one straight forward okay now if anything else has happened which means it's an error we're going to grab uh, the message or the, mm, let me call it info is equal to get element by id we're going to call it info or let's use error instead that's more descriptive Okay, so we're going to have an, a div named error, which we're going to use to display errors. And then we're going to say uh, error dot inner HTML. The HTML of that div is going to be equal to the data dot message was it message let me go back here to check yes it was message that's where we saved it so data dot message so whatever the message is we're going to display it there like so okay pretty awesome so now let's create the error div up here so we're going to go up 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 where is that uh, just after the header i think that's probably the right place to put it just before the form now i have to make sure that the wrapper it does not have display uh okay it doesn't have display flex so we can create a div here and then we'll give it an id of error 
okay all right so then we'll leave it uh, as it is just like that that's enough and maybe we can add a few styles and for example text align we want it to be in the center and let's add some padding of mm, maybe one or 0 0.5 m and what else can we add maybe some background color and let's add let's add a background color of red and color of white so let's see if we can see it before anything happens so there it is uh, so let's add some text just to see how it looks like before we we do anything oopsie what did I do I might have removed the closing div okay there we go okay so that's how it looks like mm. okay pretty good this is where we get our error but uh, I don't want it to be that wide so I'm going to say with max width uh, let's try 300 pixels uh -huh. and then let's do a margin auto so as you can see this thing has gone on long enough to okay that's not uh, good enough let's try 400 so that we can move our styles up there mm doesn't really look like it's in the center but anyway you can design this uh, any way you want to suit your needs I can actually edit the color here by right clicking let's try something a little bit more subtle than this I... even that is probably good enough let's see here Well, uh, an error should show some kind of danger, so I think maybe in the oranges here. All right, we will use that one. So maybe the width should just be uh, maximum after all. Let me just change the background color here. All right, so that should be our error. So you can edit it to look exactly how you want it to look. But let's try this without when there's no error. And of course, the display should be equal to none. And then what I will do is, since there are so many styles here and it has an ID, what I will do is simply cut all the styles here out. Okay. And let's go up to here to styles and we're just going to say error and I will paste the styles here of course I can shorten this there we go where we go let's see what we have all right pretty good okay so it's still there but the display will be out so what we will do now is um, where is this okay down here when we actually show it error that so that's the message here but they won't see it because uh, if the display is none so what we will do is we're going to say error dot style dot display is equal to uh, block because block is the default for uh, for divs so let's refresh that and let's give it a spin so click and something is wrong so let's inspect to see what errors we get so there's a syntax error unexpected token string literal okay so there's a string literal somewhere 
which is not supposed to be which is supposed to be probably in inverted commas oh there we go so i put a full stop there instead of a uh, semicolon so that should be the error if i'm not mistaken so let's try again sign up oops it seems we had more than one error so let's go back to the console syntax error so let's click here on sign up to php we click there so it takes us to where the error actually is so it will highlight the error here so window.location oops there we go i see what the issue here is we're supposed to use um, we're supposed to use inverted commas here Oh, not inverted commas. Where is it? Window.location. We should use. Uh... Oh, yeah. We should put an equal sign here. I think. If I'm not mistaken. So let's try again. Okay. There we go. Okay. So instead of this alert here. We didn't change that so we created a function here so let's copy this function and let me go to the alert here and let me just copy the first part of the function and put it here so we remove the alert and we just tell it to handle result all right so let's refresh and click so there you see please enter valid email please enter valid password hmm. okay so the first name is valid. So let me remove that and try again. Please enter valid username. Okay, so enter that. Okay, so before we enter some valid information, let's go back to our database and let's truncate this table. So I'll go to operations. Truncate means uh, empty everything and reset to a zero. So let me go here, truncate and okay okay so let's try and enter some valid stuff let me put my uh, email there and i'll put mail and then i'll put a password like um, let me try pass and see what happens and let's hit sign up so password must be at least eight characters long so there we go password word sign up and as you can see, as soon as I signed up, it was I was taken to index.php page. And if we go back here to browse button, we will see that the data has correctly been entered into the database. All right, so far, so good. So now we can see, how, we want to see how to display this data here. And then we see how to display some chat messages. I'll see you in the next video.